Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pike County Central for girls basketball action. It'll be Pike County Central hosting uh, the Pike Bowl Lady Panthers. And, Larry, this ought to be uh, quite a matchup. This one we've been anticipating, isn't it? These are two of the top teams in the 15th region. Two of the top five teams in the region, and Pikeville coming off a very dominant uh, win Tuesday night over Shelby Valley, holding Shelby Valley to only 15 points in the second half and coming away with a 57-36 win. So uh, they uh, had a couple stumbles earlier, and maybe that will get them uh, on the right road. And, of course, Pike Central coming in, and Coach uh, Derek Newsom always, uh, his team likes to pressure up and down the floor, plays a lot of players in and out. So it would be interesting to see how, Pikeville can handle his pressure tonight. I think if yep. they handle the pressure, they'd be able to come away with a win here tonight. Very, very possible. Pike Central comes in at three and three. They uh, ended up third over there in the Mountain, uh, the DYMT Mountain Classic. And let's see, they lost their games to mostly teams out of the area. They lost to Lafayette, uh, Holy Cross, Clay County, and then they ended up beating Leslie County over there in the tournament. And this is their. Uh, Seventh games, they've got a little bit more experience in Pike. Yes, uh, Pikeville's only had four games so far, but when you can throw the records and everything else out when these two teams play, it doesn't make no difference if it's early in the season or late in the season because they're big rivals. Well, are they? They might not even be a mile apart. I'm, it's going to be close, may, maybe two at the most. Right. And you know, it's, it's been like I say, it's been a tough rivalry. Of course, a lot of people think Pikeville's the number one team in the uh, 15th region right now. No. Well, Pike they, Central they wants was, to have a say so in that. You know, Pikeville was uh, was uh, ranked and projected number one. Uh, of course, uh, had the loss to uh, Paintsville, and that dropped them down some. But early in the season, and a lot of good teams here uh, on the girls' side in the 15th region. So uh, it'll be an exciting year in the girls' basketball here in the 15th region. Oh, I think so. You, you got a lot of teams that, of course, Johnson Central come back. They didn't lose anybody. Paintsville didn't lose very much. Uh, you know, Chevy Valley's rebuilding, but there are a lot of teams out there with a lot of players coming back. You're right. All right, we'll take our first break, and we'll be right back with the tip-off here on WPRG-TV. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. Where together, we are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. And together, we will continue to recruit nationally recognized specialists who bring both experience and knowledge of the most advanced life-changing procedures. It's a commitment we've made because together, we are strong. Pikeville Medical Center. Together, we rise. Hey everyone, welcome to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Pops is loaded with pre-owned and new inventory. Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac have deep incentives on all new vehicles. Here at Pops, we are local, we are hometown professional, and we are efficient. We know that you've got a choice. So come down to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac and let us get you in a new ride. We not only want to earn, but we want to keep your business here at Pops. Welcome back to Pike Central. We're about ready for the starting lineups and the tip-off of tonight's game between the Pikeville Lady Panthers and the Pike Central Lady Hawks. I think you like to say it'd be a good matchup. Two pretty experienced teams. Pike Central, a lot of players back from last year. They've got uh, four seniors on this team. Pike won well, everybody back from last year and still don't have a senior on the team. Yeah, they got they have they have they one. one they have one senior. Hardly. And uh, so you know they're going to be they're going to be tough to reckon with uh, this year and next year. At least. You're exactly right. And uh, they've had one of the top teams the last couple of years. They've made it to the championship game or the semifinals in the uh, OA and the 15th region the last couple of uh, years, just not being able to kick that door down and come away with the big trophy yet. They have. You know, that's going to be one that they're shooting for. Of course, so is Pikeville. Both these teams really want a good shot at that uh, 15th region crown. And right now may be the first step to, to establish who will be the dominant one. Well, 
just like we said, good win other night for Pikeville against Shelby Valley, and then and that was on their home floor. Now if they they can make a statement tonight by coming here on the Hawks' home floor and coming away with a big victory here tonight. No well, Stewart and no Stewart's listed as a junior on the roster, I believe, isn't she? So. Bartley, as far as I think, is the only senior. I think you got a lot of juniors, though. Yes, uh, I, th I think they started uh, one senior and four juniors the other night. Yep. Of course, uh, Stewart didn't start that game. Right. Uh, Cole Williamson started, and we're about ready for the starting lineup, so we'll bring them to you as they bring them to us. Of course, first will be the... Pikeville Lady Panthers. And Pikeville coached by Coach Christy Orem. Now for Pikeville. Number 23, a junior, Olivia Gearhart. And also at guard, a junior, Jaden Edmonds. At guard, a junior, Kelty Joe Tackett. And a senior at forward, Grace Bartley. And also a junior at center, Kirsten Cole Williamson. And as we said, Lightville coached by Coach Christy Oren. And I stand corrected. Leslie Stewart is a senior. They changed it on the roster this week. Okay. So Wayne was right. Have two seasons. Well, Wayne's mostly right. Well, if you don't ask, you don't believe us, just ask him, right? That's right. And now ready for the starting lineup for Fight Central. Number 25 would be Cassidy Mullins. Double zero, Bailey Birchfield, a junior. And I think he said a senior, Kelsey Brenninger. She's a uh, shorter 11th grader, so okay, so junior. junior. You can't hardly hear his mic. Right. Well, number 23, Alexis Newsom. She's a junior. Okay. And number one, Haley Boyd. A senior. A senior. So they're starting two seniors, two juniors. Pikeville starting one senior, four juniors. So that is the future of the 15th Region Girls Basketball right there. Oh, right? you're right. You're right. That junior class is one of the best classes they've had in uh, a long time. A long time. And they've all been playing together for a long, for a long time as well. And Pike Central Lady Hawks is coached by Coach Derek Newsom. So that's the starting lineup. The team's getting their final instructions. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Charlie Pinson. He'll bring it to you play by play. Thank you, Larry. As we're about ready to get this one underway, it'll be Cole Williamson jumping for Pikeville. And it'll be Kelsey Brenniger for the Hawks of Pike Central. So the Panthers and the Hawks. And here we go. Getting ready to toss it up. Everybody. Referee Mike Hall. Yep. And it'll be controlled. I think they may toss it again because I think she hit it on the way down. Well, nope. We're going to give it over to Pike. Pike last, it went yes. okay. last tip for Pike Central. Can you touch it twice? You don't suppose to. Okay. Not, just make sure I saw what I saw. Edmonds into the front court with it for Pike. Is he back out top to attack it? Kelsey Joe attack it with it. Back to Edmonds. Fight Central in that man to man defense. Out top it goes to Gearhart. Olivia Gearhart with it. Takes it back over on the right side, brings it back to the top of the key, hands it back now to Tackett. Tackett double teamed out at midcourt. And she walked with it. Yep. Well, they're going to oh, call a jump, jump ball. ball. Wow. And that will go to Pikeville. Pike Central. Oh, excuse me, Pike Central. You're right. They, uh, she had her hand, she had her hand on the ball and then she tried to step through. I think she had her tied up before. Uh, before the, you think so? the walk, yes. Okay. 
Bringing it into the front court. Now for Pike Central is Cassidy Mullins. And it's tipped away down there by Bartley. Lady Panthers also opens up in a man-to-man. Pike Central working it around out front. They give it back out top again to uh, Newsom. There's Boyd with it. Back to Mullins. Mullins brings it over on the right side. She drives down into the corner, brings it, takes it into the paint. Gives it up. That's Brenniger with it. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes off to Cole Williamson. And she'll give it up to Tackett to let her bring it down the floor now. Gives it over to Edmonds. Back out top to Tackett. But down in the corner to Gearhart. Looking inside. Gearhart drives into the lane. Shot up. No good. And it'll be tipped out of bounds by Pike Central. Yeah, I think it was blocked, Charlie. 6.43 to go in the first quarter. No score in the ball game here. Pike will with it on the baseline. Tackett gets it into Cole Williamson. Shot up and good. She gets it down in there. She's hard to stop. Yes, she had a big game the other night against Shelby Valley. Had 19 points and 18 rebounds. Birchfield from the elbow. In and out. Rebound Tackett. Tackett gets it up quickly to Bartley. They try to go inside. Too tall for Edmonds. It'll go back the other way. First turnover for the Lady Panthers. 624 here in the first quarter, 2-0. Lady Panthers on top. Birchfield into the front court with it. Dribbles the ground, she'll back it out. Back over to Mullins. Mullins in the paint, gives it up. They go back up. She gets it back, shot up, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Hard work on the boards that time by Mullins. Yes, it was. Offensive rebound, second chance points. That's, a, that's not what you want to give up. 2-2, under six here to go in the first quarter. Earhart with a nice move, gives the ball up. Cole will run it down. They throw it back out front to Bartley. It was down underneath. Nice passing that time by Pikeville, and Cole Williamson puts it in. Yes. Pike Central bring it back the other way. Birchfield gives it up. Brenniger, she's going to be called for the walk. And that's the Lady Hawks' first travel of the game. First turnover. It'll be Pikeville ball here on the backcourt. Kelsey Joe Tackett will bring it up. Mike Central going to meet her as she comes across the timeline. Mullins on her out front. Back to Gearhart. Gearhart drives into the lane, gives it back out to Edmonds. Edmonds double teamed over on the other side, gives it up. And Kelsey Joe Tackett has it knocked out of bounds, trying to throw it back in. Brenniger had a hand on it, so it'll stay with Pikeville. Lady Pan- Panthers a little shaky right now in the half corner of the passing, but not being able to turn it over. And Cole Williamson, she has all six points, I think, for the Panthers, doesn't yes, she? That's right. It's Cole Williamson, six, Mullins, two right now. Out front with it is Brenniger for Pike Central. Brenniger puts it on the floor, tries to make a step through, does, and has it blocked. It'll be picked up by Bartley and a foul on Pike Central. Is that going to be on Brenniger? Yep. Checking in. Who he called, though? Yep. Nice checking in. Chloe Nice for Pike Central. That's Pike Central's first foul. First foul of the ball game. Yes. Pike will end the front court with it. Kelsey Joe Tackett tries to take it down inside, and they're going to call the walk. Yep. Yeah, she tried to get it to do that two step and break through the uh, double team, but. Pike Central, I've seen so far, Charlie's getting her hands on a lot of uh, balls. Yeah, you know, that's their style of play. That's what they like to do. They go down inside, bring it back up top. There's Boyd with it. Nice. Mullins with it again. She'll back it back out. Tries to go inside to Haley Boyd, and it's going to be blocked, but that's going to be a foul on Tackett. That's going to be her first, team's first. And that will be Haley Boyd going to the line for two free throws. Free throw is up and no good. I'm not sure if he, he may have called that on uh, Bartley. He went 1-1, I think, Larry. 
Well, uh, Tackett was who was the block the shot. I, I agree, but they're not putting them up on the board I so, know it. so we can see. Second free throw rolls in. 6-3, Pikeville, 4-14 to go in the first. And here comes Gearhart into the front court with it. Stewart has checked into the ball game. Give it out to Tackett. And too tall for Stewart, out of bounds. Well, their game plan looks to be taking it to the uh, bucket or getting it down in the lane. The turnover that they created earlier with Kelsey Joe was the drive to the bucket, and their, uh, their other three, uh, well, their only three buckets has been in the lane. Most of them have been uh, rebounds, too. So, anyway, two of them were in the rebounds. Right. Pike Central with it out front. Boyd wants to drive. Birchfield takes it in the lane. She'll get it down into the corner. That's Nice. Back out front to Mullins. Mullins puts it on the floor and nearly throws it away. Nice goes and gets it, gets it back to Mullins. That ball will be kicked. It'll be Pike Central ball on the baseline. Both teams having a little problem right now getting into their offensive sets. Yep. Pike Central gets it into the corner to Boyd. Back out to Mullins. There's Boyd with it on the outside. Neither one of them looking to shoot threes either, Larry. Ball was that tip. Yep, Kelsey Joe Tackett runs it down. Pike will with it the other way. Pull up jumper, Kelsey Joe Tackett, no good. Rebound inside Birchfield, and we're going to get a tie up. Tie up, and it's going to go to the Lady Panthers. We'll be Pikeville ball on the baseline. They lead by three, six to three, with 3.13 to go here in the first quarter. Tackett gets it to Edmonds. Bartley a three, and it's no good. Rebound comes off to Mullins. It, Mullins will push it up the floor for Pike Central. Takes it down in the lane, brings it back out to Boyd. Brenniger back to Mullins. Go over to Boyd. Boyd will put up the three on the other end. It's way off. Rebound Bartley. And Gearhart gets it up quickly to Edmonds. Edmonds will bring it back out to Tackett. Kelsey Joe Tackett for three. No good. Rebound run down in by Edmonds, but I think she's on the baseline. She is. It'll go back over to Pike Central. Both teams with four rebounds right now. Both teams with two turnovers. Pike Central... One field goal and one free throw for their three points. A 6-3 ball game. Birchfield, top of the key, gives it up. She'll get it back. Birchfield drives in the lane, kicks it into the corner to Nice. Nice on the drive, has it blocked, but Bartley will pick up the foul. See if I can catch out if that's her second or not. I don't know if I can hear him or not. We'll see. Her first. first. Okay. Yes. Second team foul. Chloe Nice at the line for two. Makes the first one. Two-point ball game, 6-4. 2.18 to go here in the first. One more shot coming. Second one is up and no good. Rebound, Brenniger, she puts it up and in, and we're tied at six with 2.15 to play here in the first quarter. Here hard into the front court now for Pikeville. Gearhart takes it all the way down in the lane. Runner way off the glass. Might have been tipped. And here comes Brenniger bringing it down the floor. And Mullins with the drive and just missed everything. And we're going to have a foul. I can't see the double-digit number, but I don't know which one it was. I think it was Newsom. It's Newsom, Alexis okay. Newsom. Her second, team second. 6'6", six, six, 155 to play here in the first. Stewart back to Bartley. Tacky with it out front. Goes down inside. And a shot up and no good by Leslie Stewart. And, man, they scrum for the ball. Yes. Pike Central able to come out of there with it. Pike Central gets down into the corner. Brenniger for three. It's good. Bottom of the net. Mike Central up 9-6. Now first lead of the ball game for the Lady Hawks with a minute 26 to play here in the first. Tack it in the front court. Front court. Drive in there by Stewart. No good. We got a foul. 
And that foul is going to go against Olivia Gearhart, her first team third. Fight Central right now, Charlie, 8-4 rebounding edge. They've got two offensive rebounds, and both of their two-point buckets come off the second-chance points yep. off the offensive rebound. There's a nice go, give and go, and she can't, can't capitalize, bring it back out top. Birchfield at the elbow, gives it up to Mullins. Back to Birchfield now on the right side. They'll back it up and restart their offense here. 45 seconds. They may play for one here in this first quarter. That's what it looks like yep. they're uh, going to do. Birchfield just pounding the Delta at mid midcourt. Waiting. They've got 29 seconds. Fight will content to let them sit there and uh, play it out. Like I said, we're waiting for them to start the clock. I'll wait until they get down to about 10 seconds. And now they'll give it back out top to Brenniger. Brenniger drives into the lane, backs it out. Seven seconds, Brenniger top of the key. Gives it up, and Nice missed the shot. Get back out and fight for it. Brenniger gets it up. Does it? Is it? Nope. Wouldn't have counted anyway. So at the end of one, 9-6, Pike Central on WPRG. TV. Good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard and Tiffany Jacobs at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern near Allen Central High School. Call us or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours open on Saturday. Howard Family Pharmacy. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. Welcome back to Pike Center, ready for second quarter action, 9-6. Lady Hawks over the Lady Panthers of Pikeville, and Charlie, all six points for Pikeville coming from Cole Williamson early in the quarter. The last probably four minutes of the quarter, they failed to score. You're right. Pike Center with it in the front court, Birchfield. Now top of the key with it, gives it over now to Brenniger. Bring her in the lane. She's going to be called for the push-off. Yes, offense. That's going to be her second. Yep. And I don't know. It was a hard one to argue right there. All right. But, yeah, Cole Williamson might have fell a little easily, but she did push off. She did. Had that uh, chicken wing yep. out. Nice steal down on the inside by Pike Central. Is that nice? No, that's Brenniger. No, Brenniger, okay. And Gearhart steals it back the other way. Pushing it back up the floor. Gearhart gives it back out front. Kelsey Joe Tackett. Missed the three. Rebound comes off again. Is that Brenniger again on the rebound? Mullins the other way. Mullins on the drive. Shot up. No good. Rebound put back up and ends at Brenniger. Is that Brenniger or Nice? That's Lease. Floyd Nice. No, Brenniger, you're right. Back central left there with the pressure. They go underneath and laying it in. Bartley. Bartley assist out there to Kelsey Joe Tackett. 11-8, Pike Central by three, 6.55 to play here in the fir first half. They go into Brenniger at the elbow. She pulls up with the shot and hits an air ball. Rebound takes off by Br uh, Pike. Pike will back the other way with it. They go. Gearhart goes inside. Back out, Bartley. That ball knocked away. From Edmonds, it'll stay with Pikeville. Bartley had an open three, was trying to get it down on the baseline to Edmonds. So Brenniger will get a breather now as Haley Boyd checks back in. Number two, Trinity Rowe in for Pikeville, as well as Stewart back in. And steal by Pike, Pike Central. Boyd going the other way, shot up and in. 
So Pike Central up 13-8 here, 623 to play in the half. Out top with it, Rowe. There's Edmonds. They try to go inside to Cole Williamson. Ball stolen away. Pike Central front, double teaming her front and back. And near steal by Gearhart, but they're going to get her for the foul. And that's going to be her second foul, four team fouls. So Kelsey Joe Tackett will check in for her with those two fouls. 6.06 to play here in the half. 13-8, Pike Central. Lady Panthers trying to force it down inside. They're double teaming Cole Williamson. They're going to have to look. If you're double teaming one player, somebody's got to be, be open. You're right. Pike Central working it on the other end. There's a three, and it's no good that time by Newsom. Pike Central with the rebound. And Boyd shot no good. Rebound Pike Central. Rowe back the other way into the front court with it. What a nice dribbling job by Rowe. Yes, it was. Giving it up to Stewart. Kelsey Joe Tacky goes inside, and there's an easy one for Cole Williams. Well, that they run a better set that time. They put Kelsey Joe over on that side. They know that she was a three-point threat, so they had to come out on her. And they did the high-low with Stewart and uh, uh, Cole Williams in there at the same time. Right. Mullins with it out front, 13 to 10. Pike Central with the lead, 5.08 to play. And Mullins drives down the lane, shot no good, but she'll go to the free throw line. And that might be Cole Williamson. Let's see. Yes. Yep. That's her first. Five team fouls. Pikeville has not shot a free throw yet. This will be number five and six for Pike Central. Free throw no good by Mullins. One more coming their way. 13-10 lead, 5.06 to play here in the first half. Mullins misses them both. Rebound comes off to Edmonds of Pikeville. There's Rowe with it. Rowe might have got by the little crow hop there. Went on, there's a steal on the other end by Pike Central. Boyd with it. She'll give it up now to Birchfield. That's six turnovers now for Pikeville. Boyd. Goes down into the corner. There's a three. I think that's Nice, and it's in and out. No good. Rebound Stewart, and Jaden Edmonds out front, and Pike Central gets back, but they'll commit the foul. I think it'll be on Haley Boyd, number one. I think that will be a no-doubter that it's on Haley Boyd. <laughs> that's her first team's third. Excuse me, team's fourth. Pike Central, doing, or Pike will do a good job running the floor that time. Nice outlet pass that time for Stewart. Yes. So two coming for Jaden Edmonds. First one's good. And these will be the first free throws for Pikeville. Number 42, Allison May. Allison May in for Pike Central. Free throw up and bounces off. May with the rebound just coming into the ball game. He did a hit to Birchfield. Birchfield over to Boyd. There's a shot out of the corner for three, and it's good by 23, Newsom. Yes, Alexis Newsom. 16-11, Pike Central. And ball knocked out of bounds by Pike Central. Knocked it away from Grace Bartley. Pike will with it. Bartley gets it out, brings it back out to the top. Goes over there to Edmonds. Edmonds, nice drive, and she'll go to the line again. Got fouled. Yes. Got by her man. They didn't cut the baseline off. She took advantage of it. And that foul is going to go against Newsom. That's going to be her second team's field. Edmonds will go back to the line for two free throws. She was one of two the last trip down. Missed the first one. Got one more coming her way. Alexa Wilkerson into the ball game for Pikeville. Makes the second one. Here comes Pike Central back the other way with it. Double teamed out there to Mullins. She gives it up. Boyd. And they'll try to go back out to Birchfield. She runs down the pass. Splits two defenders. Takes it in. A little jumper in the lane is good. 18-12. Pike Central. 3.46 to go here in the half. 
Stewart, top of the free throw line, gives it up. There's a drive, no good rebound to Edmonds, and she's fouled again. Boy, I tell you, she's working the boards good right now, ain't she, Edmonds? She is. So she'll go to the line for two more. She's two of four from the line right now, I think, Larry. I think they called that foul on Birchfield, wasn't it? Maybe. I didn't see it, sorry. Well, you can't see uh, from where we're at. Uh, the officials giving a signal, and they're not putting it up on the scoreboard. Missed the front end of the one, the two-shot foul. She'll have one more. And the second one's good. 18-13. 3.35 to play. Mullins drives down the floor, pulls up just inside the three-point line. That one's in and out. Rebound given up, and Allison May with the basket. Assist to... Uh, Chloe Nice. Underneath Stewart. Shot off the glass and good. Pikes hit with no size. My, I would try to get it inside to Stewart. Yes. Well, now she's tall enough that if they double team her, you can still get the pass yes. over top of it. Ball stolen away. They get it up the floor quickly. There's Edmonds again. And this time she gets the layup. They decide to quit fouling her. 2017, they closed it to three. Edmonds with five points here in this second quarter. Mullins, I mean, Birchfield gives it up out top to Boyd. And there's going to be a foul down inside as May goes up. And I think it's going to be on Kelsey Joe Tackett. And that's going to be her second. And he's her second foul. You're team right. Team six. This will be two shots. So both teams will be in the one and one from here on out, though. Exactly. Both teams with 16 fouls. May's free throw is good. 21-17, Pike Central, 248 to play. You're in the half. One more shot coming her way. And the second one is no good. Rebound comes off to Stewart. Quickly, Pike pull up the other way. They're trying to beat Pike Central back down the floor. Edmonds takes it in the lane again. Another layup. It's good. Boy, I tell you, that was a nice step through that time by Jaden Edmonds. Step through the double team. Yep. Wide open. That's a bucket. 21-19, two-point ball game with two and a half to play here in the second quarter. Birchfield spins, gets it down in the lane, kicks it back into the corner. There's another three. Nice. That's Nice. 24-19, Pike Central. She finally connected on one. That was her third one. She's not shy about taking it. No, not a bit. Wilkerson to Stewart, and ball knocked loose. Well, fight for it on the floor. Pike Central comes loose with it. And it'll be Boyd pushing it up the floor for Pike Central. Back it goes to Mullins. Mullins runner up, no good. Rebound comes off to Wilkerson. He'll get it into the front court, back out to Rowe. There's Edmonds with it to Stewart. There's Edmonds down, or Wilkerson down low with it. Ball's knocked loose. It'll be, no, we'll call we'll get a foul. foul. Okay. And that's going to go against Boyd. That's going to be her second. And that will be 17 fouls. be the one and one. And we've got a timeout. Let's see. Do we or not? Oh, nope. no. Just a substitution in. I thought he motioned timeout. It'll be a pocketball a pack foul. Yeah. Sorry. I, oh. David, that's what it is, Pike Central. Well, Boyd shooting free throws. Makes the first one. So that's Wilkerson who, who, who picked up the foul, I guess, wasn't it? Is that who it was? I think so. Okay. She had the ball and uh, had it knocked the roof from her. I thought uh, they caught it on Pike Central. There's the rebound again for Cole Williamson. She's running the floor. Rowe tries to go down inside to her. It'll be out of bounds. Back to Pike Central. And Charlie had six turnovers in this quarter for Pikeville, eight for the game. And we, this time we do have a timeout. Say 30, so we'll 30 keep it seconds. right here. 25-19 as uh, Pike Central leads Pikeville here in the, with just a few minutes to go here in the first half. Nice game brought to you by Appalachian Wireless, Howard Family Pharmacy, Intermountain Cable. Overhead door of Eastern Kentucky, Coalfields Telephone, Pikeville Medical Center, 
Microtech Internet and Security, and Pop Chevrolet. Appreciate those fine folks bringing you all the action here. And so far, it's been exactly what we expected, the tight ball game. Yes, it has been. Pike Central with the uh, six-point lead, 25-19, minute 30 to play. And it'll be Pike Central ball here. And Birchfield will bring it up the floor now for the Hawks. Top of the key with it, Birchfield. Looking. We'll hand it off to Mullins. Got a little weave back to Boyd. There's Mullins now with it. She'll back out to midcourt. Oh, they, they might try to hold it for they the last shot. Yeah. Yep. Looks like Piper will come out and get them now. Trying to open up that Pikeville defense, make them spread it out. Number one, Emma Ratliff in for Pikeville also. Haley Boyd back out to Mullins, and they're going to try to milk the clock. You're right. Go down in the corner. May gets it back out to Nice. Dangerous pass there. Yes, he was. There's Mullins. Gets it back into the corner to May. She'll give it up. There's Birchfield in the lane. Shots no good. Rebound Cole Williamson. Minute under 25 seconds to play now. Rowe back out to Bartley for three, and it's no good. And Bartley runs down her own rebound, takes it into the lane, shot up, and good. Grace Bartley makes it 25-21 with 13 seconds left here in the first half. It'll be Birchfield has it tipped away. Pike with a chance to maybe score at the last second here. Get it up to Edmonds, and Edmonds will be fouled with 1.3 seconds on the clock. And that's going to go against Haley Boyd. That's her second. And that will be 18 fouls. Be two shots over Edmonds as she was in the act of shooting. Makes the first one. 25-22 now, 1.3 seconds. This will be eight free throws in the second quarter for Edmonds. Missed the second one. She's been consistent. 25-22 at the break. Pike Central over Pike. We'll be back in just a few moments on WPRG-TV. High-speed Internet from Gearheart Broadband is fast. Amped up fast. Experience crazy fast internet from Gearheart with reliable downloads up to 500 meg. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And Ultra X Meshify Wi-Fi keeps it fast. Here, there, everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Call or click imctv.com and upgrade to one of our crazy fast speeds today. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins where together we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. We are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. Pikeville Medical Center. Together, we rise. Santa knows where all the best toys are, and this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Oh, 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 oh. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. Where together, we are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. And together, we will continue to recruit nationally recognized specialists who bring both experience and knowledge of the most advanced life-changing procedures. It's a commitment we've made because together, we 
are strong. Pikeville Medical Center. Together, we rise. Hey there, Gearheart Broadband customer. Want fast internet and Wi-Fi to power all those streaming devices everywhere in your home? You got it. HDTV that fits your family? You got it. Reliable home phone with the security of 911 emergency location? You got it. That's right. With internet, TV, and phone from Gearheart Broadband, you've got it all from one local company that cares. Call or click imctv.com to build your perfect bundle. Hey everyone, welcome to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Pops is loaded with pre-owned and new inventory. Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac have deep incentives on all new vehicles. Here at Pops, we're local, we're hometown professional, and we are efficient. We know that you've got a choice. So come down to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac and let us get you in a new ride. We not only want to earn, but we want to keep your business here at Pops. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You wanna be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard and Tiffany Jacobs at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern near Allen Central High School. Call us or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours open on Saturday. Howard Family Pharmacy. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. High-speed internet from Gearheart Broadband is fast. Amped up fast. Experience crazy fast internet from Gearheart with reliable downloads up to 500 meg. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And Ultra X Meshify Wi-Fi keeps it fast. Here, there, everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Call or click imctv.com and upgrade to one of our crazy fast speeds today. Bye. Welcome back to Pike Central. We're at the half. It's 25-22, Pike Central over Pikeville, and we'll go over some first half numbers. First for the Lady Panthers of Pikeville, Grace Bartley with two points. Two points for Leslie Stewart. Uh, Ten points for Edmonds and eight points for Kirsten Cole Williamson for a total of 22 points. The Lady Panthers was four of eight from the foul line, all eight of those free throws being shot by Jaden Edmonds. They did not hit a three-pointer in the first half. Turned it over eight times. They had 14 rebounds. Two of those were offensive rebounds, and both of those offensive rebounds, they scored points off of. They had three points off the two offensive rebounds. Now for Pike Central, they led in scoring by Brenneker with seven points. They had four points each for Haley Boyd and also Chloe Knees off the bench with four points. Had three points for Alexis Newsom, two for Cassidy Mullins, and also three for Allison May. Free throw shooting. Pike Central was two of eight from the foul line. They hit three three-pointers. They turned it over five times in the first half. They had 14 rebounds as well as Pikeville. They had four of those 14 on the offensive end, and those four offensive rebounds, uh, rebounds resulted in five second-chance points. So we're at the half, 25-22, Pike Central over Pikeville, and Pikeville will have the basketball when we return to start the second half. This is WPRG TV Sports. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. Where together, we are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer. 
tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. And together, we will continue to recruit nationally recognized specialists who bring both experience and knowledge of the most advanced life-changing procedures. It's a commitment we've made because together, we are strong. Pikeville Medical Center, together, we rise. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You wanna be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard and Tiffany Jacobs at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call us or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours, open on Saturday. Howard Family Pharmacy. Hey there, Gearheart Broadband customer. Want fast internet and Wi-Fi to power all those streaming devices everywhere in your home? You got it. HDTV that fits your family? You got it. Reliable home phone with the security of 911 emergency location. You got it. That's right. With internet, TV, and phone from Gearheart Broadband, you've got it all from one local company that cares. Call or click imctv.com to build your perfect bundle. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years, always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. And welcome back to the Hawks Nest here at Pike Central High School. We're about ready for the third quarter to start. 25-22, Pike Central over the Pikeville Lady Panthers. And Charlie, Pike Central took the lead late in the first quarter, led throughout the second quarter, handed out to about seven points at one time. But the Lady Panthers put a little run on there toward the end of the uh first half and got the lead cut down to three and they'll have it to start this second half. Hey, it's been a good ball game. Both teams are playing to their strengths. Pike Central well on the defensive end trying to get up and down the floor. Pike will also like to run in the floor, but they're trying to get it down inside. So, I mean, both teams doing what you expected them to do. You're exactly right. Pike Central shot uh, the same amount of free throws as Pikeville did, but they only connected on three of eight. Pikeville on four of eight. Big difference right now in the game is bench scoring. Pikeville only had two points off the bench, and Pike Central had seven bench points, had five points on second chance points on offensive rebounds. Pikeville with only three points off the offensive rebounds. So that's the difference in the game right now. The three-point difference is your bench scoring and the second chance points off the offensive rebounds. Absolutely. Pike with it. Start the half. Attack it. Goes inside to Bartley. Bartley with a little runner, no good. Rebound comes off to Haley Boyd of Pike Central. Boyd will push it up the floor. It's going to be back tap out of bounds by Gearhart. <coughs> good hustle by Gearhart. Yes, nice hustle by Olivia coming in from behind, tipping the ball out because Boyd might have had an open lane to the bucket on that one. Pike Central have it on the baseline. Into Boyd. Tack it on Boyd. She'll give it up. Little weave. There's Birchfield in the paint. Nowhere to go. Kicks it back outside. There's Mullins. Goes inside and Brenniger for two. Vice Assist Central, to Mullins. Pike Central looking to go inside also as Pikeville done that a lot in the first half. Never hit a three-pointer. Get it back out to Cole Williamson. There's Bartley out front. They're going to hand it back to Tackett, Kelsey Joe Tackett will run the point. Back, Tackett trying to back her way down inside. Kicks it back out to Jaden Edmonds. There's Olivia Gearhart with it. Goes inside to Bartley. Tackett and ball's tipped loose, but Gearhart goes and gets the loose ball. Throws the shot up, no good. Rebound, Brenniger. Brenniger pushing it. She's going to back it out, wait for help. Gets it back out front. There's a shot from the free throw line. Good by Boyd. 
29-22, Pike Central. Tack it, spins, takes it into the lane, and picks up her dribble. They get it back out top. Grace Bartley with it again. Back to Edmonds. Jaden Edmonds with it. Pike Central with a nice switch on defense. And Kelsey Joe Tackett can't hold on to it. Goes out of bounds. Nine turnovers now for the Lady Panthers. And Pike's, Pike will now with a little bit of pressure. Pike Central gets it up quickly to Mullins. Mullins goes down in the corner to Boyd. Boyd will bring it back out and hands it off to Birchfield. Mullins out of the corner for three. It's good. Need a timeout, Charlie. Yep. 32-22, Pike Central. Maybe their biggest lead, Larry. That is their biggest lead. First double-digit lead of the game. Gearhart goes inside to Cole Williamson. Cole Williamson closes it out of bounds. On Goes to the floor after, but can't control it. So Stewart will check back in now for Cole Williamson. And we're going to get that timeout. I've seen Coach Orem signal for a 30-second timeout. Pike Central come out here in this third quarter and started out on a 7-0 run, Charlie. Of course, appreciate everybody out there listening to us on on 104.9 Radio WXLR and uh, on Facebook on WPRG TV uh, 105 and Channel 5. Also on Facebook, and you'll be able to watch it on YouTube, Larry. So it's all over the worldwide net. Yes, it is. And uh, Charlie, uh, talking about Pikeville, has a hit a three-pointer tonight. Look back in her book to... Tuesday night when they played Shelby Valley, they never hit a three-pointer that night. Right. So we've seen them here in these two games. They've played a little over one and a half games, and they've not hit a three-pointer. And they've got some good three-point shooters on that team. I know uh, Gearhart can shoot the three-pointer, Bartley, uh, Tackett, and also uh, Edmonds. And uh, don't. We've not seen them take too many three-pointers, so we don't know if that's coming from the coach enough to take the three-pointers, try to work it inside or what. So Pike Central with it. They go down into the corner to Boyd. They'll bring it back out. They'll go over to Mullins. In the corner, Mullins kicks it inside. Renegar splits two defenders, misses it, and Stewart with a strong rebound for Pikeville. Strong rebound. You're right. Tack it, bringing it in the front court. Let's go inside Stewart, and she'll kick it back out to Edmonds. Tack it, and ball tipped, and still on the floor, loose, and it'll be out of bounds off Pike Central. 32-22, Pike Central, 5.06 to play here in the third quarter. Pikeville right now, Charlie, looks like uh, they're so intent trying to get it inside that they're really pacing up some good shots from Tack outside. It from the elbow is good. First score here of the third quarter. Her first score of the game. Gearhart with the steal from behind. She'll bring it back up the floor quickly now for Pikeville. Wait on everybody to catch up. Gives it back to Tackett. Tackett gets down in the corner to Gearhart. Olivia Gearhart with it, looking. Kicks it to Stewart at the free throw line. Stewart back to Gearhart. She puts it on the floor. Back out to Tackett. She'll put up a three. It's good. There it is. And we got a timeout. Pike Central, 32-27, 4.24 to play here in the third quarter. We'll stay right here. It's a 30-second timeout. Kelsey yeah. Joe Tackett on a little 5-0 run of her own right now, on the five points of the game. And we have just talked about the three-pointer, and she was one of the shooters they had, and she drained that one. She did. I mean, got a good look. And Gearhart found her standing out there by herself and delivered the ball right where she needed it to be. Yes, she did. So 32-27, Pike Central by five. But like I said, Pike will made a run. They It's been a 5-0 run, and they've cut that lead in half. Cut it in half. Pike Central went out to 10-point lead on the 7-0 run out of the locker room. But Pikeville so far has weathered the storm. See if they can get in to cut into that five-point lead now. It'll be Birchfield bringing the ball up the court. Now Pike will in a 2-3 zone. Pike Central with it. They try to go in 
to Brenninger down underneath. Boyd has it blocked. That'll be a foul on Tackett. And that's going to be her third first team foul. Two shots for Boyd. So Kelsey Joe Tackett picks up her third big foul right there for Pike. And looks like Wilkerson will be coming in for Tackett. Free throws good by Boyd. Boyd now with seven points in the game. 33-27, Pike Central. Cole Williamson into the ball game now, too. So Pike will with uh, both, both their post players in at the same time. Boyd's second free throw is good. 34-27. Low scoring game so far. Earhart into the front court with it. Hands it off to Edmonds. Go to Cole to Wilkerson. She's double team. Ball knocked loose. Loose ball on the floor. Scramble for it. Pike Central comes out of there with it. Mullins back to Boyd. Boyd shots good over Stewart. Over Stewart. That double team down on the sideline, Charlie. That sideline is just like your third defender. And Resulted in the turnover for Pikeville. Edmonds in, gets it over to Wilkerson. Back up top, Cole Williamson. And she's fouled. That'll be the first foul on Pike Central here in the half. That's Brenninger, and that's her third, Charlie. That could hurt Pike Central. Yes. Both, both teams now with a starter on the bench with Three fouls, 3.29 left here in the third quarter. Chloe Neese checks in for her. Pike will with it out front. Wilkerson gives it to Gearhart. Olivia Gearhart with it, spins, and gets it out top. They go underneath. Nice little high-low action there, and it'll be a foul. It'll put Cole Williamson on the free throw line. And that foul is going to go against Chloe Neese, her first, team's second. Two shots coming, though, for Cole Williamson. She had six, the first six points in the ball game, Charlie. She's only had two since. This will be her first free throws. It's good. She's got one more coming her way. 36-28, 3.13 to go here in the third. Mike Central with the lead. This is the second one. Rebound comes away to Mullins of Pike Central. Mullins will back it out, restart the offense, go in the corner to Chloe Neese. Neese gives it up to Boyd. There's Birchfield. Three by Birchfield is no good. And we got a foul on the rebound. Looks like that's going to be it's going to be on Boyd. Boyd. That's her third. He pointed toward Pikeville and then yep. give the signal. So I, I was... Uh, didn't think Whiteville had anybody on the floor with the number one right on right now. Nope. In the front court with Edmonds. There's Wilkerson. Cole Williamson now. Tries to enforce that one up, and that'll be another foul on Pike Central. Another one on Neese. Boy Neese, yep. That's her second. Cole Williamson, smart with that ball down in the lane, Charlie. When she goes up, and the player's got their arms up. She tries to get up and under their armpit and go up through it. And most of the time, the officials will yep. give that foul right. to you, even though the offensive player is actually initiating the right. contact. You're exactly right. But if you can get away with it, why not do it? Exactly. As long as they call it that way. That's exactly right. And, and eight out of ten times, you'll get that yep. call. 36-29 as she makes the free throw. Seven-point ball game with 2.43 to play here in the third. Pike Central hanging on to the lead. Mullins with it out front now for the Hawks. Got that 2-3 extended out past the three-point line. May throws it away inside. Cole Williamson with the steal. The zone slowed down this Hawk offense right yes. now. Edmonds sends it in the corner to Gearhart. Cole Williamson drives and won't get a block and that's going to be the third one on nice 
And seeing Cole Williamson back to the line, this will be six free throws she shot here in this third quarter. The taking of a charge is a lost art in high school there. Yes. Don't even know if they teach it, Charles. Yeah, that may be true. Free throw no good by Cole Williamson. Not taking advantage of the opportunities at the line right now, two of five. Second free throw up, and it's short as well. Wilkerson knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay go to Pike Central. 213 left in the third here. Grace Bartley returning to the lineup for Pikeville as Cole Williamson will take a rest. Bring it into the front court, Mullins over to Birchfield. She'll pull up for a three. This time again, no good. Rebound, though, comes off to May. Back inside, he goes to Mullins, and she'll bring it back out. Nice Earhart steal. with the steal. And she's going to give it over to Edmonds. Edmonds shot up and good. Nice steal and feed that time by Olivia Gearhart. Mullins back the other way for Pike Central. Pike will with the double team. Can't get her. They get it inside. May kicks it out to Nice. There's Newsom with it. Birchfield now with it out front. 131 to play here in this third quarter. Five point game, 36 31, Pike Central. And it looks like they may be going to hold it again, Larry. Well, they done that at the end of the first half, but they end up turning it over just, just like it that. Did yeah. And Wilkerson will take it all the way. Missed it. Rebound Bartley, who's back into the ball game, isn't it? Yes, and she called a timeout. So we get a timeout on the floor, 36-31, 107 to play here in the third quarter. Is it a 30 or a full? It's a full timeout, I believe. Yes. And we'll take a break. We'll be right back on the VRG TV. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. We are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. Pikeville Medical Center, together, we rise. Hey there, Gearheart Broadband customer. Want fast internet and Wi-Fi to power all those streaming devices everywhere in your home? You got it. HDTV that fits your family? You got it. Reliable home phone with the security of 911 emergency location? You got it. That's right. With internet, TV, and phone from Gearheart Broadband, you've got it all from one local company that cares. Call or click imctv.com to build your perfect bundle. And we're back at Pike Central. 107 left here in the third quarter. 36-31. Pike Central still holding on to a five-point lead as the Lady Panthers will have it under their own bucket, Charlie. Bartley trying to throw it in bounds, throws it over top to Wilkerson. Go back down to Stewart. Stewart tries to put it up, gets her own rebound, puts it back up short again. And out of bounds, back to Pike. Try to throw it again to Stewart again, shot up, no good. This time she's fouled. I think that one is going to go on May. Let's see. Yes, 42. Her first team spill. Team six. Six team yep. fouls, right. This will be two shots. Stewart makes the first one. It's a four point ball game, 34 32. Or 36 32, sorry. Brenninger back into the ball game now. Playing with those three fouls. Second free throw's good as well. First field, they're going to try a little press, a little 2 2 1 pressure here by Pikeville. Newsom double team down in the corner, and we're going to have a timeout, Pike Central. Got that one just in time, didn't you? Yep. 36 33, the score right now with 46 seconds left. It's a 30, so we'll stay right here with it. 
And Coach uh, saw that one coming and tried to take advantage of not losing that ball. Yeah, and he got it just a nick of time because Pikeville knocked the ball loose and it came up with it just as the whistle was being sound. Pikeville, Charlie, in this third quarter, shot eight free throws. They've made four of them. They only shot eight in the first half and made four of those. So right now they're eight of 16 from the foul line, six or 50%. But they've been a little more aggressive trying to get the ball inside again the way they started the game, and they're picking up some fouls now on Pike Central. And Pike Central now with three players with three fouls. You're right. Pike Central trying to get the ball inbounds. They're struggling with it. Birchfield will throw it over top to Brenniger. She gets the ball and tries to take it down inside. It's going to be knocked away by Pikeville. It'll stay with the Hawks. Lady Panthers being a little more aggressive on defense here in this second half. Trying to get it to Mullins. They get it back. They'll give, hand it to her now. Gear hard on her. She gives it up to Brenniger. And we're going to get a foul on Stewart. Yes. That's going to be her first, uh, only the second team foul. Pike will now end the bonus as Pike Central already has six, so the next shot will put them in the one and one. Yes. They'll throw it over top to Brenniger. She'll bring it back out. And Stewart's going to pick up the foul. Don't know what that was. Well, I mean, she's got only got one foul, but I don't know why you'd foul at this point. Well, and at the jump circle. Yep. Renninger, and there'll be another foul on Pike. And that could be Stewart again. So I think she might have been reaching in. Let's see. It nope. is. Number 20. 22. Yep, 22. Stewart. You're right. She's picked up three within 20 seconds. Yep. So we'll bring Cole Williamson back in. She'll take a breather for the last 24 seconds. Renninger shot up no good, and that'll be a foul on Cole Williamson. Pike Central up. Be getting that's, a bunch of fouls called right well, here. Well, that, that's four fouls called on Pikeville on this one possession. Yes. They had one foul, when the, uh, team foul, when they came down the floor. Now they've got five. Cole Williamson's second. And Brenner Brenner has not been there. Yep. She hasn't been there tonight. This will be her first two. Short. May will check back in for. She's coming in for, for Brenniger, yeah. Yes. One more free throw coming for Brenniger. And that one's good. Trying to get her out so she didn't get that fourth foul on her here. Right. Only 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. We've got a four point ball game, 37 33. Edmonds into the front court. Out top of the key, she goes in to Bartley. Wilkerson shot up, no good. And Cole Williamson with the rebound and the putback. Two-point game now, 37-35, three seconds left. And Mullins, will she get it off? Nope. No good. So 37-35, Pike Central at the end of three. We got a ball game as we go into the fourth quarter on WI, no, 94. On WPRG TV. I'll spit it out in a minute. We'll be right back. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard and Tiffany Jacobs at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern near Allen Central High School. Call us or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours open on Saturday. Howard Family Pharmacy. Hey everyone, welcome to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Pops is loaded with pre-owned and new inventory. Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac have deep incentives on all new vehicles. Here at Pops, we're local, we're hometown professional, and we are efficient. We know that you've got a choice. So come down to Pop Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac and let us get you in a new ride. We not only want to earn, but we want to keep your business here at Pop. Right. That's 
And we're back at the Hawks Nest here on Pike Central Campus, and we're ready for fourth quarter action. Two-point game. It was three at the half. Now it's two. Pike Central with the lead. They'll have the basketball to start this fourth quarter, Charlie. Out front with it is Birchfield. She'll give it back to Boyd. Boyd to Mullins. Mullins in the lane off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound Bartley. And Birchfield with the steal. Birchfield shot blocked. And she gets the rebound, puts it back up and in. Got away with the push. Yes, she too. did. Back the other way. Edmonds into the front court. And it will call Palmer the ball. Was that Birchfield scored down on the yes. end? So Tackett will come in for Edmonds now. Out top with it, Birchfield. That's going to be stolen away by Gearhart. She's going to take it all the way to the basket. She'll be fouled. Be on Mullins. And took a hard spill. She's up, moving around. Walking it all may have. Uh, That's going to be Mullins' first foul, Charlie. 17 fouls. Of course, this will be two shots. Two shots coming for Olivia Gearhart. Hasn't scored tonight. Just a little bit off the back of the rim, back of the rim there. Neither team shooting free throws very well tonight, Charlie. Both of them 50% going into the fourth quarter. Six of 12 for Pike Central and eight of 16 for Pikeville. Second free throw is no good. Rebound Mullins. Pike Central taking it back the other way with Brenniger. Back out to Birchfield. There's a three by Newsom. No good. Rebound, though. Birchfield missed it. And rebound this time comes away to Bartley, and she'll be fouled. And if that's Brenneker, that's going to be her fourth. It will be. Yep. You'll have to probably give her a breather. Yep. Here he comes. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Boy niece into the ball game. Yep. She's got ten points tonight. Trying to double team, but uh, when you double team, you don't need to reach in. And As she tried to reach in, got called for the foul. So at the free throw line will be Grace Bartley. And free throw's good. She'll get one more. Bartley, with that's only her third point tonight. She had 11 points the other night against Shelby Valley. One more free throw coming. And it's no good. Rebound comes off to Boyd. 39-36. Back to Mullins. They go down inside, get it back to her. Mullins again out top. Boyd kicks it outside to Newsom. Newsom bring it back out front. Hands it off to Mullins. Mullins dribbles back out to Boyd. Boyd and stolen away, Bartley. Bartley gets it down inside, and we're going to get a hold in there. And getting a little bit of heated out there. Yep. I think that's going to be on I think it's Boyd. Haley Boyd. It that's is. going to be her fourth. There'll be some... Players leaving this one, I think, before it's over with. Very possible. Might be with two players with three fouls, and Pike Central, two players with four fouls, two starters. Missed it. Rebound comes off to Pike Central. Mullins back the other way for Pike Central. Hands three. it off to Boyd. Free throws are critical throughout the game, but no more critical in the, in the fourth quarter when in a close game in Pikeville right now, one of five in this fourth quarter. we got about 6-10 to play here in the third. Boyd on the drive. Nice drive by Boyd. Yes, it was. Step through. Cole Williamson was set up to take the charge, and then here Boyd Found is yep. going to be leaving.
that's the chance you take for playing yep. one of your starters with four fouls, and there's 5.57 left here in this fourth quarter. And Brenneker coming into the lineup for Boyd, and she comes in four with fouls four as fouls. Well, yeah. Light milk can afford to be a little more aggressive on the offensive end, Charlie, with all this foul trouble that Fight Central's in. They can, you're right. Edmonds will be at the line to shoot two. She's four of eight from the foul line. Two shot foul, so she missed the first one. One of six from the foul line here, Charlie, in this quarter. Second one rolls in. 41-37, four-point ball game. Mullins back the other way for Pike Central. Give it out top to Brenniger. It's like Pike Central's almost trying to uh, stall the ball here, Larry. Well, they're trying to take time off the clock, try to get an open lane going to the bucket. Might be a little early to do that, five and a half minutes to go. Brenniger had a step. She took it one, taking that one to the basket. Yes. Maybe that's not what the coach wants. Maybe, Maybe he's not. telling them not to take a shot. It's a long time to hold the ball. It is. Back out to Newsom. And into Birchfield. In the corner, there's a three knee scud. I guess that's what he wanted. He got it. Yeah, that's what he got. 44 37, Pike Central. Chloe's knees. Nice pass down underneath there in the basket. By Bartley. Bartley. Pike Central. Michael scoring quickly. Nice gives it up. There's Mullins on the drive. Missed it. Rebound Bartley. Ball taken away by Mullins. Her shot up and no good. Rebound comes off and it'll be a foul on Pike Central. And looks like is that Bartley? Bartley yeah, I think floor. so. Yep. Don't know what happened to her. Did she when she? Don't know. She's a holding her arm. Look like yep. she's, she's got uh, a she's uh, got a bandage on her hand. Yeah, yeah she's got a wrap on her wrist anyway, and uh, she might have when she fell maybe try to break her fall yep. with uh, with that wrist and might have re-injured it. We hope she's all right. Of course, she's got that knee brace on too, and uh, she might be look like she's holding her knee also. I'm I'm not sure, Charlie. I'm not either. Seems to be favoring the wrist more. Now she's holding yeah. it going to the bench. So it'll be tacking at the free throw line for two. Be the one and one. Two. Oh, she yes, it's a ten team yeah. foul. You're right. Didn't catch that. That may play a big part in the end of this ball game too. Who did they call that foul on? I didn't get uh, that. Name. I don't remember. On uh, Newsom. 44-41, 4.44 to play. That would be three on Newsom. Yep. There's Tackett with the near steal. Back the other way with it. Pike, Pike Central still has it out front. One, one, possession, possession. one possession ball game, Charter. Yeah, right. Fire it back out to Birchfield. Down in the corner, that's Mullins. Renniger. Back out to Newsom. That'll be a foul on Tackett. And that's going to be Tackett's for it. 16 foul. So next one will have Pike Central at the line for the one on one. Wilkerson will come in for Tackett. Yes. Birchfield brings it back out front. Gives it up to Brenniger. Well, she brings Stewart out on the floor, Stewart, with four fouls. Yep. And she now has oh, knocked, knocked the ball out of bounds. Yeah, just knocked it out. And that might have been a lucky break that she knocked it out. You might be right. Out top with it, Birchfield. And that'll be a foul on Edmonds. 
And that's going to put them to the in the one on one. That's only the first team foul, or excuse me, first foul on Edmonds. Seventeen foul. Bert Spill will be shooting the one and one. She has not been to the line. Looks like we're going to get the old defensive offensive substitutions coming in here, Larry. Right. Bertsfield at the free throw line, shooting one and one, right? Yes. Missed it. Gets rebound being fought for on the floor. We're going to have a jump ball, I believe. And it's going to go to Pikeville, but yep. it looks like Bertsfield was over the back on that one. It'll be Kelsey Joe Tackett bringing it up the floor here. And they get it out to Stewart. There's Edmonds. There's a beat three. No. Rebound, though. And it'll be a foul on Mullins. Rebound went to uh, Cole Williamson. Mullins with her second foul. Cole Williamson will be at the line to shoot two. She has. Had six free throws. She's two of six. Free throws, good. One more coming for Will. I mean, for Cole Williamson. Missed the second. Rebound, Mullins. 44-42. Three twenty to play here in the ball game. Mike Sickle hanging on. Mike will making the runs. Let's see how he ends up. Mullins out front with it for Pike Central. Give it up to Birchfield. Birchfield dribbling around out front. That'll be a foul on Edmonds. Looks like that's what Pike Central's trying to do. Uh, Charlie, just take time off the clock. Have some ball possession time and try to get the foul on Pikeville. Yeah, it's, tough. it's a tough strategy. It is. It is. That would be the third foul on Edmonds. Birchfield back to the line. She's 0 of 1 from there. 1 of 1. Makes the first one. 45 42, Pike Central. 3 02 to play. Birchfield puts up the second one. It's no good. Rebound, Cole Williamson. She's been dominant on the boards. Kelsey Joe Tackett in the front court. Gives it to Edmonds. Stewart has it knocked away. Tackett picks up the loose ball. Back out front to Edmonds. Gearhart for three. Nope. Rebound Tackett. Missed it. Rebound Stewart. Missed it. Rebound Tackett. And Gearhart gets hammered as you'll go to the free throw line. Newsom, I think, will pick it up. Nope. Birchfield, her second. Here Hart will be at the line. She's 0-2 from the line. Puts the first one up. It's good. Two-point ball game, 45-43, and we got a timeout. Pike Central, 231 to play. It's 45-43 Hawks on WXLR Radio, WPRG-TV. We'll be right back. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. Where together, we are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. And together, we will continue to recruit nationally recognized specialists who bring both experience and knowledge of the most advanced life-changing procedures. It's a commitment we've made because together, we are strong. Pikeville Medical Center. Together, we rise. We're 
We're back here at Pike Central, 45-43. Pike Central with the lead. 231 left in the ball game, and Gerhardt can cut that lead to one. Charlie, she'll have one more free throw. Usually a good free throw shooter. 45-43 lead, 231 play, like Larry said. Going to be a battle. Neither team shooting well from the foul line tonight. Olivia takes her time with it. Looks good and rolls in. 45-44, one-point ball game. And full court pressure for Bikeville. Newsom gets it to Birchfield. Birchfield out front. Birchfield. And I think we're going to get Gearhart for the foul. That's going to be her third, and that's nine team fouls, so it will be the one and one still. But from here on out, it's all going to be two shots either way. So Tackett and Stewart check back into the ball game for Pikeville. First field at the line. She's got uh, one and one coming. Well, she right now is one of three from the line. This will be the last one and one of the ball game, though. Yes. She missed the front end of the first one and one she shot. Makes the first one. Two-point game, 46-44. No matter what, it's still a one-possession ball game, though. Yes. Still plenty of time left, 2-13. Oh, yeah. The way this one's working out. Whistles is starting to come into effect. Pikeville, Charlie, in this second half. Uh, missed it. Rebound, Cole Williamson. Fourth quarter has scored 10 points and eight from the foul line. Cole Williamson underneath missed it. It's her own rebound. Puts it up. No good. It's her own rebound again. Has it taken away by Pike Central. Birchfield has stolen by Gearhart. And we're going to reach in foul on Newsom. And that's going to be her fourth. That was 23 on 23. Yep, wasn't it? it was. Olivia Gearhart coming up big here late in this fourth quarter. Chance to tie the ball game if she makes them both. This will be her fifth and sixth free throw all coming here in this fourth quarter. Free throw rolls in. One point ball game, 46-45, minute 53 to play. Big one here could tie the game. First tie we've had since back early in the First quarter. Takes her time with it. Second one is short. Rebound comes off to Floy Neese of Pike Central. And they'll get it to Mullins. Now back to Birchfield. Birchfield gives it up to Mullins. Mullins will get it up to Neese. Neese will bring it back out. Neese now gives it up to Newsom. Minute 28 to play. Timeout, Pike Central. 46-45 ball game, one point game, minute 27 to play. And we've got a full timeout. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Santa knows where all the best toys are, and this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, biggest savings, that is. Oh, 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 oh. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard and Tiffany Jacobs at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern near Allen Central High School. Call us or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours open on Saturday. Howard Family Pharmacy. We're back at Pike Central, 127. All that's left, 46-45. Pike Central clinging to a one-point lead. They'll have it side out in the front court as we get back to action, Charlie. 
And they'll throw it over to Nice. I'm not sure who they were throwing it to, really. Well, they were throwing it to, uh, I think that was Newsom. Hirschfield with it out front. Nice might have saved them, one, saved them on that one. Five seconds. Turnover. Three turnovers here in this fourth quarter for Pike Central. Twelve for the game. Pike Bill with 13. Yep. So Pike will can take the lead for the first time in a long time here. But since early in the first quarter. Edmonds with it. And walk. And we'll get a walk. Yep. Yep. She predetermined what she was going to do with the ball, and when she got down there and tried to turn it loose, trying to get it over to Tackett, and Tackett was covered, and she took an extra step. First, she'll bring it up the floor. Back out front, Newsom with it. There's Brenniger. We're going to get a foul, I believe, on Wilkerson. Yes. And that's what the coach was calling for that foul. That's Wilkerson's second 10 team foul, so both teams, two shots. At the free throw line, Brenniger. And Brenniger is one of two from the foul line tonight. And she's one of three. 46-45, one-point lead for Pike Central. 50 seconds left. If either one of these teams, Charlie, been shooting around 75-80% from the foul line, this game would have been put away. I think you're right. We got the timeout on the floor. 50 seconds left. 46-45. It's a full timeout. We'll be right back on WPRG TV. Hey there, Gearheart Broadband customer. Want fast internet and Wi-Fi to power all those streaming devices everywhere in your home? You got it. HDTV that fits your family? You got it. Reliable home phone with the security of 911 emergency location? You got it. That's right. With internet, TV, and phone from Gearheart Broadband, you've got it all from one local company that cares. Call or click imctv.com to build your perfect bundle. At Pikeville Medical Center, a new day begins. Where together, we will place an emphasis on the importance of listening, compassion, and faith. We are building a regional health system to provide the most advanced diagnostic technology and specialized treatment to fight cancer, tackle heart disease, react to traumatic injuries, and care for all we serve. Pikeville Medical Center, together, we rise. Five. And we're back. 15.8 seconds left. 48-45. Pike Central with the lead. Brenneker will be at the free throw line for her second free throw. 8 of 17 for Pike Central from the line right now, Charlie, and 16 of 31 for Pikeville. And both of them shooting just about the same percentage at this point. Pikeville in the front court with it. Gearhart to Edmonds. 43 seconds left. Edmonds to Gearhart. Your heart with it. Boy, that's a good scoop there by Olivia. It threw it right at her feet. away by Birchfield. And a foul on Tackett. That's going to be her last. Five for her. And it'll be two shots for Pike Central. 29 seconds. All that's left. Four, uh, two point lead if. Who, who will be at the line? I didn't see. Was that Birchfield? Birchfield I believe. If she knocks both of these down, it makes it a two-possession game. Yep. If she can uh, miss both or just make one of two, it's still a one-possession game. Pikeville with the chance to tie or take the lead with a three if she misses both. If you're back central, you want that one anyway. Yes. You know, yes. You'd love to have both of them, but you really want one badly. Tackett fouls out with seven points on the night. 29 seconds, still a long time, though, in a game like this one. You're right. Mercyfield puts the free throw up. 
and it's good. It's still a one-possession game, though. This is the money shot for Pike Central, possibly. Birchfield, three of five from the foul line here in this fourth quarter. Makes them both. Ice water that time. Yes. Pikeville needs to go quick. They yep. don't need a three. Just uh, put some points up and then uh, go for the foul. They go underneath. Cole Williamson puts it in. And a timeout called quickly by Pikeville. Back to a two-point lead, and it's a, it'd be a full time out, but we just stay right here and go over the game situation. you got 13 seconds left in the ball game. Two-point lead for Pike Central. All free throws or all fouls now is two-shot fouls, unless it's an offensive foul. So Pikeville will have to go for the steal. If they can't get it, they need to foul immediately. Yes. Leave some time on the clock for them in case... Pike Central leads the opening for him by missing one of the free throws. And I wouldn't foul Birchfield. She's the only one that's hit uh, three in a row. Well, she's she's three of six. Yes, yeah, three of six. No, four of six in the fourth quarter. Only other person taking a foul shot here in this fourth quarter is Brenneker, and she's uh, one of two. So most everybody on the floor has been 50% pretty much consistently tonight. Right. So, but you're right, though. Pikeville really needs to get in. They, they, would, they would love to get away with a steal and a chance to put a shot up, but they have to foul if they don't get it with only 13 seconds left. Right. If you're Pike Central, you want to get it in the hands of Birchfield, probably, because right now she's been your best free throw shooter. And let's see who takes the ball out. Birchfield. Birchfield's going to take it out. She can run the baseline. And they get it in quickly to Brenniger. And Pike will not commit the foul till near midcourt. That three seconds run off. And that yep. fight, that's going to go against Emma Ratliff in the game. Stewart and Cole Williamson will come back in. Brenniger on the night, two of four from the foul line. One of two here in this fourth quarter. A big one right here. Makes it. Now, this one's the big one. Yes, that makes it a two possession or a one possession game still. Right. But you want that one possession to be a three, though, if you only got one. Exactly. One more free throw for Brenniger. Takes her time with it. Puts it up. It is good. So free throws, as we say, always important, Larry, but they're huge down the stretch. Pike Central with a four-point lead, 10 seconds left. Now you want to slow them down, but make sure you don't foul somebody. You're right, Charlie. Uh, Pike Central was 6 of 12 from the foul line through three quarters. In the fourth quarter, they've took 10, and they're 7 of 10. Yeah, it's been uh, that's, that's huge right there. In a game like this, because it's been a 50-50 game all all evening uh, from from the free throw line, and it's been a good ball game all night long. Going to see who comes out a winner right now. Pike Central in in charge. Yeah, but now Pikeville can make a run. They've got time. Well, we was talking free throws. Pike Central seven of ten here in this fourth quarter. Pikeville has took 15 foul shots in the fourth quarter, and they've made eight. We've seen wilder things happen over here before. Yes, we have. I was over here for the Hobo McCoy. Hobo McCoy. And he's, he's sitting right down front, matter of fact, a while ago when I saw him. The you know, will has to bring some of the hobo magic over here. I tell you, it was a magical night that night. Yes, it was. Well, it wasn't actually a magical night. It was a magical like three minutes. Yeah, it wasn't long yet. <laughs> it was Mike Bell will have to bring it to lift to the floor. Pike Central is going to put a little token pressure up, try to make them take some time off. Just the don't clock. don't make them make them not dribble, make them not roll the ball is what they're trying to do. And ball's loose on the floor in the corner. Got a tie up, jump ball, and it's going to go to Pike Central. Wow. Charlie, that's going to do it. Three seconds left. And it looks like the Pike Central Hawks going to come away with the win here. 
barring a miracle at this point. And they'll throw it in to Mullins, and she'll dribble it out. And that's the ball game, 51-47. Pike County Central over Pikeville. We'll take a break and send it back to the station on the Intermountain Sports Network. High-speed internet from Gearheart Broadband is fast. Amped up fast. Experience crazy fast internet from Gearheart with reliable downloads up to 500 meg. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And Ultra X Meshify Wi-Fi keeps it fast. Here, there, everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Call or click imctv.com and upgrade to one of our crazy fast speeds today. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. Hey everyone, welcome to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac here in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Pops is loaded with pre-owned and new inventory. Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac have deep incentives on all new vehicles. Here at Pops, we're local, we're hometown professional, and we are efficient. We know that you've got a choice. So come down to Pops Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac and let us get you in a new ride. We not only want to earn, but we want to keep your business here at Pops. Welcome back to Pike County Central, 51-47, your final as Pike Central upsets the uh, Pikeville Lady Panthers, Larry. Yes, they did, Charlie, and we'll go over some final numbers, but you can look at the free throw line. They're pretty even everywhere but there. First four, Pikeville, Grace Bartley had five points, had 13 points for Jaden Edmonds, and out of those 13 had 10 of those in the first half, had three for Olivia Gerhardt, all those coming from the foul line, seven points for Kelsey Joe Tackett. She had one three-pointer, 15 points leading scorer for Kirsten Cole Williamson, and four points for Leslie Stewart for a total of 47 points. Rebounding, Pike, uh, Pikeville had 29 rebounds, and out of those, 29, they uh, had nine of those are offensive rebounds. They had 16 turnovers, 16 of 31 from the foul line, and I had one three-pointer. So had their opportunities at the foul line, Charlie just couldn't cash them in. Pike Central, on the other hand, was 13 of 22 from the foul line. They had nine less foul shots, but most importantly, in the fourth quarter, Pike Central was 7 of 10. Pikeville was 8 of 15 from the foul line, and that ended up being the difference yes. in the game. Pike Central were led in scoring tonight by Brenneker with 13, 12 by Haley Boyd, and she fouled out of the game. Eight points for Bailey Birchfield, had three points for Alexis Newsom, five points for Cassidy Mullins, seven points for Chloe Neese, off the bench, and she had two three-pointers in those seven points, and three points for uh, Allison May for a total of 40 or 51 points. Pike Central had 25 rebounds, turned it over 12 times, hit five three-pointers, and as we said, 13 of 22 from the foul line. So you take the three-pointers, they had five, Pikeville had one, the difference in the score is four, and that's what the final score was, or final deficit of me. Close ball game all night long as uh, Pike Central comes out on top, 51-47. That'll wrap it up for us here from Pikeville. So for Alex Factor Radio Station, for Wayne Fugit on camera, my partner Larry Cecil, this is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Intermountain Sports Network.